few weeks ago I went to Blick and I picked up some of the drawing inks that they have and I bought the Henry collection of Windsor and Newton drawing inks and it contains eight different colors each in a half ounce bottle and so we have scarlet orange canary yellow emerald blue violet nut brown and finally black Indian ink. I wanted to see all of the possible color combinations um, with layering two colors, so I made a box divided into eight rows and eight columns, and when making this I simplified the names of the colors and just put red for scarlet, but it proved to be more of a bright pink rather than a red. One thing I struggled with when making this was waiting the appropriate amount of time for the ink to dry. And so there's some bleeding issues in some areas, but I figured if I take it and I actually put it next to my space heater, it dries pretty quickly, so it's kind of an art hack there. I think my favorite color combination was the brown on top of the blue, and I was just amazed at how many different colors you could get. Anyway, this was super helpful when I was trying to plan out the colors for my illustration, and speaking of my illustration, I wanted to try to push myself with character design, and specifically, I wanted to make two characters that you typically see together. They would look like solid characters separate, but together they would look um, like complementary. So I chose to design a couple of Oni kids. Oni are a type of yokai, which is a supernatural creature in Japanese folklore. And Oni are similar to like ogres, and typically they're pretty like frightening and ugly looking and they have crazy hair and like torn clothing but I wanted to take this concept and make it like cuter I guess so I wanted to portray them as a couple of mischievous kids and when I was designing them I knew I wanted one to be a red oni and one to be a blue oni and I wanted them to still look like they belong together so I tried using um, red details on the blue one and blue details on the red one so they like complemented each other and for the clothes I didn't want them to be so bright because their skin was super bright so I used more of a neutral palette for their clothes I used combinations like yellow and brown and blue and black for their shirts and I tried limiting my color palette so that they looked colorful but not like super rainbow for their clothes I wanted them to look similar but still have different aspects to them and so I gave one longer pants and the other one shorts and then I put horizontal stripes on the um, red oni's uh, obi which is the belt sash and on the blue oni I put vertical stripes on his um, belt sash just to add some interest and I also tried making their leg stances a bit different to add some um, a bit of personality because they probably didn't look in a mirror and try to copy each other's poses exactly. So with their legs being a little bit different, I feel like it's a little bit more believable. Um, I think my favorite part about this picture was drawing and coloring the clubs. Objects that have repeating lines and patterns are just so fun. And adding the shadows and highlights really makes them look three-dimensional, which is like when you get, you know, something to look super three-dimensional, it's so satisfying. Adding the cast shadow was fun too. I had to think about how their pose and the clubs would block out the light, and what shapes of shadows it would cast, and so now my final thoughts on the drawing inks. It's nice to have something that's like translucent and vibrant, but waterproof when it dries so that when you put stuff on top of it, it won't pick back up. Um, I enjoyed using the dip pen. I used it a little bit in this illustration, and I would definitely like to do something more with that, more of a drawing, I suppose, rather than a painting. Um, one weird thing I've noticed about like cameras in general, there's this shade of orange that cameras cannot pick up on. And so this orange ink is actually that shade of orange, 
and so the camera displays it as being much darker and vibrant than it actually is. And so I had to color correct the picture. Here, I'll show it to you now. This is closer to what it looks like in real life. Um, when I was color correcting this photo, it kind of made some of the reds a little bit off. But this is probably as close as I could get it with the technology I have. I'm not sure why cameras do this, but I have a an orange yarn that it does this with too. And I just find that so weird. Anyway, so thanks for watching. This is just my experience from using drawing inks for the first time. I'm much more used to watercolors, so I probably tried to treat them like watercolors a little bit too much. Do any of you guys use drawing inks? And if you do, what type of inks do you have and what do you like about them? I just want to thank you again for watching my video and this weekend I'll probably be having um, a challenge video. Maybe I'll do the eraser challenge or something. If you have a suggestion for me, you can leave it down in the comments and then I'll take a look. Yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Have a great week and bye!